Well, earlier this year, the LGBTQ Equality Caucus at the Capitol were celebrated as all five regulatory boards approved policies opposing conversion therapy in the Commonwealth. However, state legislators say there's still work to be done as the PA Fairness Act remains locked in the General Assembly with little time left on the clock. We have the power to do that in one fell swoop, and all 13 million people could have the same rights. That swoop, State Representative Patty Kim says, is the PA Fairness Act. Passed last year by the State House, the bill would specifically enshrine sexual orientation and gender identity as protected classes in the PA Constitution, alongside race, religion, age, and more. A move Kim says is vital. We need this anti-discrimination bill so that someone in the LGBTQ community cannot be fired uh, from their work, uh, kicked out of their home, or discriminated against in public spaces. That need hasn't changed. We interviewed officials from the Pennsylvania Youth Congress last year, then receiving those exact calls. We still get calls with people facing harassment in the workplace, discrimination in finding apartments, um, these issues are persistent until we get a state law passed. They have to include sexual orientation and gender identity for us to be truly protected without question. And despite broad support, where is the bill now? Probably dying a slow death in the Senate to have it sitting and not giving folks the freedom to have those rights is, is maddening to me. Opponents say the bill would force religious institutions and health care providers into actions they're not comfortable with, something advocates say is misinterpreted. There's certain arguments being promoted in Harrisburg that non-discrimination protections would force all physicians to provide gender confirmation procedures on minors, which just doesn't happen. The real conversation is, can you go to a hospital and get health care? Can you go to get a public school and receive a public education if you're an LGBT uh, student? Those, that's what this bill is about. It's not about all of these other things that are being brought into it. Dozens of local municipalities have bridged the gap in adopting local non-discrimination ordinances. However, that only covers 35% of the population in Pennsylvania. So good for them. I'm thankful for them. But it has to be for everybody in Pennsylvania. While Pennsylvania currently interprets state law to protect sexual orientation, leaders say interpretations and law are not the same thing. The Commonwealth remains the only state in the Northeast without explicit protections for the LGBTQ plus community. It sends the wrong message for Pennsylvanians, whether you're gay or not gay, that we are treating certain people differently and not giving them the same rights. Why would you want to come to Pennsylvania? Now, local officials say they do see growing bipartisan support for legislation like the PA Fairness Act to pass, but have yet to make it to Governor Shapiro's desk. Now, should the bill itself, HB 300, not pass by the end of legislative session, which ends November 30th, the process will likely have to start all over again.